Welcome back everybody, this is Buddy Blackford. We are doing an After Effects CS6 tutorial on switching between cameras. So what I'm going to do today is set up a few cameras, go over a rule called the 180 degree rule, and show you how to switch between the cameras that you have. So let's start by showing you the scene real quick. It's the same as before with the other two camera tutorials that I've done, but we have just a, a static background that's not 3D. We've got three vectors here that are in 3D. So let's go back to our two view. Let's go back to two views vertical here. Oh man, I always do that horizontal. And let's change one of them to our 50 millimeter two node camera here and what we're gonna do is set up cameras and switch between them throughout this 15 seconds here so we got our two millimeter or 50 millimeter two node camera here and we will keep that right here in the front and we're gonna create we're gonna duplicate it by hitting control or command on a Mac and pressing D and we're going to select the second one and then we're going to move it to a different position. Let's use the top view on this side so we can see where we're putting these. We're going to move it to a different position. Let's use the unified camera tool. Oops, got to do it in this got to do it in this one right here. And that's good for there. Let's make another camera and we'll make sure it's selected and go to the other side and maybe from above here and then I'll pull it back a little. I'm not looking in the right camera over here. There we go. There we go. Now we're in the right. I have to put my uh, two note or uh, the other camera back to where it was. Got to make. I just did the same thing again. You got to make sure when you're in your comp panel that you have the right camera selected, or else it's just going to move around the uh, camera that you have your view on. And that was something that I was going to go over after to show you what not to do and then I went ahead and did it so I guess I killed two birds with one stone there so I've got three cameras set up this is the first camera and then this is the second camera view and this is the third camera view and this is the one that I wanted to zoom out a little bit with I'm just gonna move the position back actually I'll use the Trek Z camera tool so now we're out a little farther back and we can see everything. Now the way that you want to switch between your cameras is by moving them on the uh, timeline here and just cutting off. You can't do anything like dissolve between cameras or anything so you have to just cut. And then when you're done with your different camera views you can then go into something like Premiere and add crossfades and things like that. So this is the way you do it. And we're switching from, let's go to our uh, active camera here. And you can see that the active camera is going to be the camera that is on top in the timeline. So we have three cameras over top of each other, but the only one that's going to be showing is the one that's on top in the timeline. Now I'm going to shorten this so that we can go back to another camera after. And also when you shorten your layers somewhere to like here, you don't have to use computer power in After Effects to render out any, any of these uh, cameras so it's just good to always have your layers uh, trimmed up when you don't want to use them anymore so 
let's just go to our one view here and we'll go to our active camera and we'll just do a quick uh, RAM preview and you can see how this works it's just uh, switching between camera cuts and then you use another program later to switch between the uh, uh, to put in transitions if you would like or anything like that 